<laughs> well, g'day everybody, and um, we're a bit late tonight. You know why? Oh, Kelly, you're there already. <laughs> Is that Kelly Robbins? Ah, ah, you should have a bay, Kel. Hey, yeah, I'll tell look it up. Hey, guess what? Cheers. Cheers, Cheers big ears to all the berries. We're having a berry get together. And Jane, and who's on? Bev Anderson. Oh, what are you waiting? For? Are you there, Bev? Bev. I think Bev's on now. Bev, it should be live. Love is it on? So Bev's the expert on Patreon. And um, she's actually shown people how to do it that are having trouble with it. Um, yes, I'm on. See, Bev's oh, yeah. Just be careful of the table. And anyway, we've got the kids here, everybody. Yeah, so Loretta's on from already. Geraldton. Hello, darling. How are you, swear? How are you sweetheart? Geraldton was 23 degrees. Oh. Yeah. Now, you're bloody nice, 23. It's called the midwife lot night tonight. <laughs> and Sue Stevens is on. So here we've got our gorgeous little Jane. Say good day to everyone, Jane. Hello, berries. Yeah. Okay. Now, some of you don't know Jane, but I've, I've known... been missing in action for a little bit. Yes, because she's she's. I've got to teach her how to get onto Patreon because she doesn't know. We've got Karen McEwen's on. Hi, Bev. Oh. Bev Anderson knows all about <laughs> this. She's been helping everyone. Lorraine Munro from Sydney's on. Hi, Lorraine. And what we started to do, we know Kelly Hi, Robinson. Hi, Sue. Kelly Robinson, she came come to Adelaide with Ollie, me. Then you won't come back in. Ollie, come and say Ollie hello. Ollie wants to say the hello to everyone. James got four kids. Hi. And this is Ollie. He's a boy berry, aren't you? A boy berry from Ballarat. So what do you reckon about that one? They've just found they've just found a koala in the tree behind the apartment. So uh, the, he thinks that's a, good. And Liz Ball's on. Hey, Liz, we've got four kids and she's Jane's come down with the kids and no, Cheryl Ralph, needs to see that old. Cheryl Ralph from Hobart's on. And you Hi, say Cheryl. Hello, how are you, darling? Aren't you going to? Lily won't say hello. No. And the other boys, they're busy. But the best thing that's happened to Jane is this, isn't it? It's me. No, the best thing that's happened to Jane is you've all got friends in Apollo Bay. So yeah. Jane might get a quiet time. <laughs> I don't have any friends. Dick. The kids have all just got on their devices and it's all popped up on Snapchat that they've got friends everywhere down here. So, yeah, hopefully I'll have four days to miss. <laughs> and we've also got Virginia Henderson on, and she's a nurse. She lives in Melbourne. She works on drug and alcohol. Oh, can you help us? Yeah, but she knows what we're like, don't you, darling? And it's nice to I see everyone on with Linny. Hey, hope Linny put chocolate. I did not put chocolates on no, the bed. No, they've been ripped off. But yeah, we did go by the chocolate shop did, on the way yeah, here. And we did put a koala in the backyard oh, again. Oh, Bruce. So, Louisa said we didn't get Tim Tams in our box either. I'll tell table. Uncle Bruce that. Yep. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Kelly's having a drink. What are you having, Cal? So, you know Mom, what? Where are the Pepsi? The kids want a Pepsi while we're talking. I mean, this is this is the real family berry oh, yeah. holiday. So tell everyone what chat you know if they're having now, the tea. My surname is Adam, and we are the Adams family. <laughs> <laughs> no oh, and I'm Uncle Fester at the moment with me black eye. There you go. <laughs> and um Ow, and Virginia's a dental nurse. Two oh, days a week. I tell you what, Virginia, oh, you would be the nicest dental nurse because I'm scared shitless of dentists. There you go, darling. <laughs> oh, and here we've got. Oh, now Jordy's walked in and walked out. Yes, now because he's got a girlfriend. And he drove, didn't he? He drove today. He's got his owls. Yes, yeah, so there you go. See, I I'm... was shitting myself all the way along the Great Ocean Road. Can I throw the match? Is cousin it here? Yeah, she's sitting over from us. That's Lily. <laughs> so Jane's got four children, everybody, and she's left left her husband Lockie at home. Hi, Di. Oh, Di McPhee's beautiful. Di is from Bacchus Marsh, yeah. and I've had lunch with Di yeah, in July. Lunch with us or tea. Oh, um, that's right. Like and also, Di was in hospital, that's and we right. went to visit her. And Brenda's on. So say hello to Hi, Brenda. Brenda. Now, everybody, I'm letting you all, and, and we've got little Lou Green on. I'm, I'm glad you had visitors. Lou lives over in Terrelgan. Now, big news, everybody. Brenda, Brenda Hilton, guess what? Brenda Hilton's getting a passport within 10 days, so she'll be able to come and visit us in Australia. So, everyone, get your spare bedrooms ready for Lamar, Brenda and her sister. Casey just sent me a message. I don't know what she was saying. 
um, all in amongst this, the kids don't know. Lucky Locky, Bev Anderson said. <laughs> He's in quiet, I know. <laughs> Bev's the granny. I'm going to see Bev in Geelong tomorrow. Um, oh, there you go. Di can't. Mu- hey, hey, Di, I reckon when Brenda flies into um, Melbourne, we should have a berry lock there waiting for her. In Melbourne. And we could maybe like put her in a bus. Put Welcome, her in- Vanners. We could put her in a bus and take her into the city for the night. Oh, we'd have a good time. Then she'd be exhausted. Yeah. Uh, so it's really good news because she's had a lot of trouble getting her, her passport yeah. and because she had a Polish name when she got married and they didn't believe she was English. But your accent's English. Got to tell you some other news that we had today. Di, I bet, do you know how to drive a little bus? Brucey does. Got about that. Um, we can start, Liz said, we can start the countdown now. So anyway, Joanne Hazel's on, Joanne. We've got our Berry Jane here. Now, Joanne came down to see me because she was coming to the convention. She's from the Blue Mountains. And I slept with her in Sydney. Slept with her? Yep. And then I Nailed. slept with Kelly Robinson in Adelaide. I sleep around everybody. And um, you're a lucky girl. I am. I, <laughs> I, I could stay and sleep here with Jane, actually, and yes. Ollie. And Ollie, that if we need the king size bed, that's what we need. Anyway, um, I do sleep around. So the next time I go away, I think is going to be to sleep will be Sydney again. I haven't been to Sydney. Yeah, for Bev years. Anderson might come and sleep with me then. Yeah, why not? Then I've slept with every. I'm starting to sleep with everybody. I mean, we could be. <laughs> It sounds terrible, doesn't it? And you know what? Joanne, I love her, and she bought her cousin Joe, and they bought a very special present for me called COVID. Oh. <laughs> did you catch it off there? Oh, yes, I did. And it was actually, I'm so glad I bloody had it because yeah. they've had it a few. How many times have you had it? Lily's had it twice. Lily's well, had it twice. COVID. Have you been sick, oh. Lil? The first time I was dying, the second time I was dying. She nearly died the first time. <laughs> Lucky her mother's a nurse. The second time she was cranky because Virginia she had wasn't even sick. Oh, not sick at all. No, she tested because her best friend did and she come back positive. Oh, but my God. And she, negative. And then she wasn't even sick. But we've all had it, but Lockie hasn't even had it yet. Yeah. Oh, same. No. Bruce, Bruce didn't get it. No. no. But we've got our little granddaughter coming. Oh, Lynn Parker's on. Hello, Lynn Parker. Where are you coming up, love? Now, I might be on here. On your phone. Yeah, I can't see you, Lynn Parker, coming up. How come? And we have some, see, everyone's struggling a little bit with this. It's um, a learning curve. And I can't see Lynn Parker. I'm looking down here. Anyway, yeah. how is everyone today? Um, after our little drama of the last, oh, I've been asked out. To a party Wednesday night, but I shall be in Melbourne. She's a lovely girl, that Tanya Zock. She's just gorgeous. But no, I can't go. I've got to stay here. And 50 well, is the new. Be, you'll no. be in Melbourne. I'll be in big Melbourne, big Melbourne. And I'll be at the um, China Red having dumplings. Yes. Mm. Now, just a little bit of a notification to everybody. Um, um, I think you all know what's going on. And I went and saw the police today. And I am going to court on the 11th of July. Please do not put any posts on Facebook at all about this person, none. So what we're going to do is just not even talk about her again, but apparently I didn't do anything wrong. Um, so I'm not I'm not as upset about it. Um, and really all she wants is that we don't go, don't go near her. Well, that's easy. Um, don't um, talk about it on any post. Well, that's easy too because she doesn't exist. She doesn't actually exist anymore. So there you go. Oh, Virginia. Um, Yes, I'm going to court. It's called an AVO, an AVO. I've never heard of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she knows all of that. An avocado. Yes, because I'm scary. Yeah. Yeah, and, and Bev posted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, in and Bev's going to come with me and I'm going to see Bev tomorrow. And, jo- hey, when do you want to, yeah. what do you want to tell us, darling? 
Yeah. What do you want to say something? Yeah, on? would you like to tell us what you've been doing this year oh, at school? It's Heather. Oh, Heather. Oh, we've got another oh, berry here tonight oh. now. No, has, no, come back, come back. She doesn't come on. Patreon, you won't come on. She's a school teacher, so she worries a little bit about. Um, but on this, she probably can go on. Well, Di, I still might need you going forward, but it's um, not as bad as what I thought initially. The policeman was really lovely, actually. Um, yeah, so. Oh, I know, Joanne, I know. You can talk to everyone here because this is our private group. And it, Heather wouldn't come on face well, because she works in a school and that's fair enough. And um, she's on holidays at her cabin. And everyone, you know Heather Connolly, Heather N. or Connolly. And did you, do you want some of my drink? No, thanks. I'm driving. She's driving and so she might have a cup of tea. So there you go. And I'm driving, but I'll have half of this and share it with her. And Callie said hello. Hello, Callie. Do you want me to get off so you can come and have a yak? No, I don't want you to get off so I can go and have a yak. Michaela's Why not? Hey, the kids are here. Hey, it's really funny, but all the kids. You can't see anyone. No, all the names are here. Look. And on here, Liz Liz Ball and Loretta's on, Joanne, C, and everyone's names. But some of them come up. I'm explaining how it works. <laughs> so some of them come up here, but some of them come up here. So there. Yeah. Oh, she just misses technical. Sue, so they nearly need the MCG if all our theories rock up. The court <laughs> won't be big enough. Well, I, we're getting excited because Brenda is getting her passport within 10 days. And Brenda's oh, she's on. she's getting it now, is she? Yeah, and Brenda's on here. And Sue Egan. Hello, Sue. Hi, Sue. And I'm just going to say, Sue Egan was so nice to me last week, and I'm just going to say thank you, Sue. And I've had all these scary moments, and you made my last moment not so scary. I went to school with Sue. Oh, Heather went to school with you, Sue. <laughs> hey, look. I think she knows that. Do you know that, <laughs> Sue Egan? Uh, well, I met Sue when I was in Colac, and next time she's going to come and have a lunch hour with us, but only have a drink when we go to the pub to have our special $19 steak and, um, yes, and with Lynn Parker, by the way, Sue. Yes, yeah, Sue, and she's a bit of a dag. Well, Lynn on too, is she? Lynn Parker's somewhere. Said she sure did go but I can't there. see where no, Lynn. No, no, no. Hey, Lynn, are you saying anything? Because oh, I, can't, I can't see your name come up. Anyway, um, yeah, so what were we talking about? Oh, I, I forgot because we all just raved. Yeah, you asked me what was going on at school. Yeah, what, oh, what what year are you in, darling? Six. Oh, he's in grade six. And on the last three days of school, the vice principal came into my class and asked me to go out of the room. What for? Nothing. <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. Oh, you did something, you know. Yeah. Oh, is that what Lynn Parker did? What are you having for tea, Lynn Parker? Do you know what she's having for tea? She went to Aldi. Oh, is that what we were talking about? Yeah, good old. I tell you what, it looks really good. onto it. It's only like $9 something and it's a pesto tray pasta. and it's a pesto pasta bake. And you whack it in and the And it's got chicken right on it. Oh, chicken. Yeah. It Go and have a look. Right chicken now, and a bit of sun-dried tomatoes. Yeah, in the oven. No, it's not in the oven. Oh, can I put it in the oven? Liz Ball said, "Happy, um, happy holidays, yes. Heather." Oh, I know. Yeah, and because David King, so said she's hello, really, Heather, and that's holidays. Liz Ball actually. Nice. So she comes on uh, under an alias, don't you? Oh. Don't you? Um, uh, do, no, David King comes in under an alias as well. She likes to trick us that little. Oh. I've been under an alias because Lenny's telling us all. <laughs> <laughs> It just comes out of my mouth. And see, we've got Bev's on here, and Bev's the one that's been, poor old Bev, Bev, she's been spending, so how much time have you been? She rang Margaret Bell to help Margaret Bell with Patreon. What time did you get off the phone? One o'clock in the morning or something. <laughs> yeah, how good so, is it, Bev? That pasta bake's beautiful. Oh, is What's that it? a pasta bake? Can you grab it No, no, it's just in the fridge. I haven't oh. put it in the oven yet. Yeah, nine bucks. Joanne went to Aldi today and picked oh, up yeah, the ribs. Oh, they're really oh, nice, Joanne. They were the frozen ones, honestly. Oh, they're nice yummy. Oh, yeah, I don't think they're very good for your blood sugar, sugar the but um, they are delish. But oh, oh, what's that? That's a cover on it. That's too much for me. Well, kitchen, chicken, pesto, penne. That'd be all right when I have 
uh, Casey here, wouldn't it? Not we could buy that. Like that anyway. I reckon my family would eat that. That's probably – that would do Bruce yeah. and I for two meals, one of them, I reckon. Sure. Does that feed a family of four, one them. of them? Probably a family of four, oh, but my boys, if I let the two oldest ones have it, they'd eat that by themselves. Oh, yeah. Do you know what she does? She buys. Um, she buys. Uh, uh, hang on, one eight. Yeah, yeah. look. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. Look, yeah. Look, yeah. Yeah. look. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
race for Rinaldi or whatever his name is, Christian. Uh, who's the racing car driver? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. He's Mom, yeah, yeah, because he's done. He's done. Oh, he he, good soccer, doesn't he? He's yeah. actually yeah. done. He's, Lorenzo. Race car driver. he's actually Lorenzo. done twenty hours of driving, so he's ready to speed. Oh, yeah. I tell ya. <laughs> He actually wasn't a bad driver, but I, it was a little bit too close to the edge sometimes. Yeah. Ah, he, hey, oh, Loretta just said H. Good on you, darling. I, I love anyway, I'm just going to say, you won't let me finish what I was saying. Anyway, he talks a lot. He does take oh, after God. his mother. Anyway, <laughs> he takes after you, Jane. <laughs> hey, imagine Jane's a midwife. Imagine being in labour with her. She'd never shut up. Now, I do. I do when it gets down to business. Oh, does it? Now, yeah. push, don't push. Just no, shut up. Just, just shut up and push. Told. Yes. And I'll, and you just grab them as they come out, No, Jane. I just let them fall out. <laughs> <laughs> and after you've had a couple, they do. <laughs> she dropped Geordie. <laughs> on his head? I dropped Casey on her head and she's Mom still alive. We all did oh. that. We all wanted to do that Friday, to one of our kids at some up. stage. I didn't want to do it to Casey, but Jesse, by the time I had the second one, all he did was eat and sleep. It was he fantastic. A good boy. Anyway, let's get back to <coughs> Claudine today. So it was so nice. She came on and, and talked about being a lobster fisherman, and her daughter lives um, in Alberta, so she's been over there, which is the other side. Anyway, I get up, <laughs> I get up this morning. And there's about eight people from Labrador in Canada joining our cooking group. So, everyone, get on the cooking group and put on some recipes for our friends from Canada. How about that, Sandy <coughs> Hard? Sandy Hard, you can do that. You can all do it. And so can you, Liz Ball. And um, I thought if we put recipes up there of what we eat here, you know, Murray Cod and stuff like that, maybe crayfish. Oh, They'll put their lobster recipes up. Oh, yum. So I th I was quite, <coughs> to be honest, it was quite a highlight today to think that we've got all these ladies from Canada coming onto our group. It, I've got a friend in Canada. It actually, I'm glad yeah. you do. It made my Who? day, actually, because you just yeah, remember we have the Americans. Like They're not on Patreon. My name's Jaden. They're on the Facebook pages, on the but it's just oh, nice to yeah, see. Yeah, and Brenda, oh. well, she's with us all the way, aren't you, darling? And Marie Shaw, Mile High Club. Do you know, can I tell you, Marie? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> they've got the Mile High Club going, haven't we, Marie? Anyway, I went to the post. Did Bruce do that? It's the name of the lipstick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that like, is that it's like what the they reckon colour. It is? It's the colour. It's called Mile High. It's the, isn't it, Marie? It's, I'm with you. I'm yeah. I'm Sandy I'm Hard, I'm you've got it, don't you, Sandy? And there's quite a few. Kelly's got it. And Marie's, so we get, there's more and more of us getting that colour mile high. So we're joining, it was Marie's idea, Marie, mile wasn't high it? Club. We've got the mile high club. So there you go. And, um, do know what my high club is, yes, I do, and this is as good as I'm going to get, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine doing that in an aeroplane. <laughs> I can't fit in the toilet on my own. That. I wouldn't fit in the toilet myself. No, alone with my husband. no, no. it'd have to, and it'd have to be a little man getting in there with me. To Bruce fit. is a little man. <laughs> well, I suppose he's, he's shrinking. He's shrinking. Oh, he's anyway, yes, yeah, Sandy's got it. See, Callie's got it. Hey Virginia, did you? Oh, and um, she's not on tonight, but um, um, oh, bloody hell, you know, one of our favourite beautiful girls, Lyndon O'Keefe, she's got it because we're all the same colouring, aren't we? Bev Anderson. Hey, oh, and Bev Anderson goes, we should get it put on our t shirts for Barley. Oh, oh, hi, hi, Judy. oh, good on you. And just Judy Walpole on. Oh, how are you, darling? And it won't be long. Judy's going to have a visit to Debbie Lane. You don't need to one ask of the me berries. Go to Bali because I love Bali, and I'm going to go. Yeah, Which and makes it no, days. no, no. Because I turn fifty next year. Oh, well, we've got her fiftieth. So who else has got a major milestone? A oh, I'm going to make Heather come. I think they should. <laughs> yeah, Heather's never no, been she, to Bali. She doesn't so she want should. to go. She said she's never ever going. No, she Helen Morby will come, won't you, Helen? Hi, Heather. Helen, Helen June. June. Helen, hey. No, I said the wrong thing. Judy. Yeah, well, Helen Morby, she's a nurse. Yeah, I met Helen. Remember, she's gorgeous. She's got she five came over kids. For the 
for our convention. convention. Well, Helen, you she's a big traveller, actually. Are you going to come to Bali with us, Mom, darling? Over the bay. Over yeah, the other side. You're from the other side. <laughs> Across the bay. There's a them. few There's a few of us on tonight. And Virginia's sister's 50th next year. So Virgin, uh, Virginia's going over and then joining up with us. So you're going to be there for oh, months. Oh, they're taking her to Bali. My friend is leaving on Friday, yeah. so I'm on. So the kids are sitting here and they're on their Snapchat and all their friends are coming up from Ballarat. So Jane's going to have a good holiday, aren't you, Jane? She'll yep. go lay around all day. I, bought a book. Down, I might even get past reading yeah, the front cover. Go, ah, go down the street and have a coffee. And if I was here, that's what we could do. And I'll tell you, I'm going to say, if you want a coffee, and the coffee shops, they're not, they're not all open. Waves is closed till July. Um, oh, what that's that's go nice to the cake. George, yes. that's, that's a really good one. That oh, we go to the distillery. What, clothing, clothing. No, no, no for the the innovation. Oh. Go to the distillery in Apollo Bay, Jane, because you can go there at eleven and have a coffee. What time they do, do you the takeaway coffee? Is that the one? No, but they, the but you can also sit down. So right I went with my cousin yesterday. Yeah. I thought I'll go and have right a coffee. Yeah. So we went down what at eleven and we had a coffee and we got a complimentary bit of um, chocolate brownie, oh. which was just rich and delish. And then we thought we'd just go for coffee, but stayed for lunch. And then some locals come in that we hadn't seen for ages, so we got home at half past one. We went at 11, got home at half past one, as you do. And I had a great time, actually. So there you go. Get one of those. Oh, I know, Bev, Bev likes the burgers. Like, oh, Bev, oh, are you talking? The, um... Bev, no, Bev and I, we had, they do these beautiful burgers at Little Crumb, don't they, Bev? And they're, um. No, you had a different one to me, but I love the one. It's vegetarian. It's a oh. falafel burger. Oh, yeah, oh, I do. I like falafel. Yum. It's delish and yummy. But also at the co-op, get a Always hamburger with a lot of people. Well, Jordi said yes. I've got this ready for me crayfish. Yeah. She has to buy the kids crayfish. And she's going to buy a whole one. Spoiled little shit. Yeah. I, I, the next time I have a bloody oh, crayfish, right. I'm going over to Canada to have one. Yeah. yeah. I spoiled the boys last time because... Geordie and Sam sat up to the table with a crayfish to share, and and I'm also I'm, I don't eat it. I hate crayfish. I'm going to say everybody that um, another lady sent me a message today, and this is what keeps me going. And I'm going to read it. I can read this message to you on here because it's much more of a private group. Now she hasn't. Marie Shaw's sixty next year. Well, you're coming, darling, aren't you? Now, I just want to tell you something. There's a lady that's started sending me a few messages from the 21st of June. And her name's Dominique, and she is from Katoomba. And this is what she said. Can I read it? Because this is the reason that I keep doing this. And I think you might want. Okay, well, shut up. Hi, Lynn. Yes. I'm Dominique, hey, and I joined your berries group a while ago, and I watch a lot of your lives and all your travel adventures and would love to come meet you on one of your trips or catch up with you when you're in, in Sydney next. I live alone in Katoomba and haven't met any other berries yet, but would love to meet some of the lovely ladies in this group and make new friends as I'm very lonely. Hope to hear from you soon. And you know what? That's the reason I do this. And you know what? And um, she's not on Patreon yet because she probably doesn't know it or understand it. But when she said that, I get messages like that, everybody. And um, Well, do you know what? I got a message from Dominique too. There you go. Because I liked that comment that she posted on there. And then not long after that, she messaged me and she said, Hi, thanks for liking my post. Hope you're well and having a lovely day. Take care. So there you go. You know what? I am yeah. I am doing good. As much as the shit that's gone down, I am doing good. And Kelly's been in contact with Dominique and it's really nice to see because I think we... So have I, Cal. I've messaged her a couple of times too. And... Well, there you go. Bev said she should meet Joanne's cousin. But we will, and we'll go to Sydney and and um, and Bali, hey, and Bali, and and, and, the, and the group. That's how we'll get the group 
Well, Kelly, are you bloody. going to Bali? Did you say you Yeah, were? Kelly's bloody coming, aren't you? And Alan, isn't he, Cal? Yeah. Is that a hubby? Yeah. Oh. Judy said we've all got to go, don't we, darling? Don't we, Judy Walpole? And um, I tell you what also. How big's your house, Jude? How many can we fit? No, Judy's <laughs> downsizing, aren't you, darling? Oh. Mitch, uh, but we will go. We'll get her and bring her into the hotel. That's actually probably better for us, Jude, to bring you in. And I've been looking at Addie's Inn, everybody, and I know Chitra, her family own it, 29 bucks a night for your own whole room. Um, yeah, it's ridiculous. I, I reckon, I could, especially for me, I could do Pardon? a deal. What I do you reckon about that one, Virginia? If we, bought, if we got the whole house out, I hired the whole motel. Well, we just about would. How, so, many, how many rooms has it got? I think it's got about 40. And it's a tradition. It's owned by Balinese, and it's got it's got everything we want. It's got oh, it's you, spotlessly Kel. clean. What are you having for tea, Kel? Um, it's spotlessly clean. You got I've been there. You got your own bathroom. It's the pool's nice. Look at Virginia. Otherwise, Virginia, you and I'll go down to the Champlung Mass because her and I've stayed at another one that's cheap, and we're nothing wrong with it, is it, love? I only need a bed. Um, a bed and a shower. Yeah, and you want cl clean, clean, and they are clean. The Balinese are actually very clean. And, um, oh, no, you know why my eye looks better, Marie? I've got more concealer on. Anyway, go down. You should say close up. I went into the pharmacy and I said, oh, Joe, Joe's a pharmacy. I said, I've got to get rid of my eye. And he goes, no, nah, you can't. It's just going to fade away. So, well, I'm going to Big Melbourne and I'll go into Maya. You can't see it much when you look like. Yeah, but I'll go into Maya because they'll have a proper concealer for that. Like I'll get a really good one. But it's true. Red. I put red lipstick. And red then, lipstick on your eye. Yep. And yeah, then. Like yeah, and then concealer. They, they use all, all the new ones, ones. Which is a really <laughs> thick sort of makeup. And then the makeup, then the powder. But anyway. When well, my like my am sees me, she won't like, like that, will she? And, and you know what? Claire's like not on. Green and red, like color correcting stuff to hide like all the like colors of the yes, skin. Yeah. Look, like, they, the kids switching. all know what to do. Do you like makeup, Lily? Oh, Lily, like, love. What you don't? You just I buy it. Do you like my lipstick? Paint. I hardly ever wear makeup. It's two dollars from Kmart. Yeah, I remember lipstick. Oh, all the stuff two oh. bucks at Kmart. Yeah, it's really fantastic. Lily, Lily just does her eye, eye When you go to Bali, you can, you, buy all the, you can buy all the fake flash makeup in great big things. So they, oh, oh, Lynn, what did Lynn you Parker, say? what did you say? She's yeah. listening. Lynn Parker, we love you. Lynn yeah. Parker, listening, Lynn, having trouble getting, getting Jane to look at it. I can. We we just saw what you said. We saw what you said, Lynn. So that's all right. What are you having for tea? Having she bought two tray bakes it. from um, tomorrow. And, and Heather won't. Do you want to come and sit where I am and have a yeah? Getting trouble. No, she but never she shuts up me. normally, but she's not talking okay. tonight. Lynn, what? Yeah. Hello. Lynn Parker, are you asking me to look at something tomorrow or is it someone else, Jane? What else has she said there? Oh, oh no. Oh. Just cut them off. Yeah, they, look at oh, Loretta. Hey, tomorrow. Jay. No, Loretta. Jane's her daughter. She's got oh. a Jane. God, look I at, look at Loretta. I'm bloody gonna we love fix. you, darling Loretta. You're our favourite girl. You just turned it off. Oh, what did you do? She goes, no, goes off, look, I'll H, H, J, H. I, <laughs> oh, I love you, again. Loretta from Geraldton. Sorry, You're a bloody I'm little ripper, oh. I tell you. Yes, Liz. I know, oh, Lynn's on Patreon. So I tell you what I do would like you to do is um, um, maybe nice put a few too. posts Thanks on the love. See you, Kelly. See you, Cal. <laughs> Is put a few posts. I don't know whether I can drink this there. actually tonight. Yeah. Um, get the oh Lorraine Munro said get the Clinique concealer. Well, you know what? I'll take me head in, Lorraine. I'll go in with my head to let them look at me head. <laughs> I need um, a makeup artist that does theatrical makeup. There's something now, going on with this um, this thing you've got here because is it that light makes us all look like we've got clear skin? <laughs> oh, we're all beautiful, we aren't we? We need one of those. I need yes, one of those. we're all bloody gorgeous. Oh, Heather, Heather Judy's Judy sending you great big hug. Hi, Judy. She won't come to Bali, she said, but oh, she'll be working. I want to go to Ireland and Scotland. <laughs> but I'll have to go and see Iris. Now, I think. That costs a fortune. Yeah, I know. What? Karen Houghton's on. 
Hello, Darla. Now everybody, Karen's been through a bit of a shit time. <coughs> and you know damn well that she's our admin. And she puts a lot of work into being the admin. She's And since the incident that we've had, she's watching everything very, very closely. So we're sending Karen all her love. It was her birthday on Friday. Karen's just had a birthday and she was 40. Not really. Oh, she's not really. 40. No, not really. <laughs> and uh, she's had a bit of a shit time. So, That's um, so good. yeah, so we're sending you all our love. Yeah. So, oh, there you go. Bev Anderson said, watch Chantel Putu on Facebook. She's awesome with makeup. Well, go and look what I have to put on, Bev, and you can tell me tomorrow when I see you. So what do you reckon Chantel about that? Oh, I know why Linda No Keith's not on. She's gone over to her son's over near Portland. She said that, remember? Can I tell you a funny story? Yes. Yeah. You know how she's got watch that time thing on Facebook? Do you know what my mother-in-law did? I hope she's not watching. Oh, she wouldn't be on Patreon. That's correct. <laughs> she got on Facebook, no, a YouTube link, a YouTube link, and was watching how to do some crocheting thing, and a little thing popped up on the screen and said, your computer is under threat. You don't have um, a virus a attack. Yeah, you've got a virus attacking your computer. Hit this button now. You need to contact Microsoft straight away oh, and get, no. the, get your software fixed up to stop Did the virus. Did she do it? So she clicked on the link, oh. and then it said, you need to ring this number straight away. So she rang it. How much money so did they want? gullible. Oh, no. She gave them G'day, password. Pat Mariana. Oh, she didn't. She gave them so they password. got into a computer. Well, then she got off the phone and she said, then rang her daughter and went, oh, I'm not sure whether I've done the right thing or not, but I've just done and, you know, told her daughter what she'd done. And her daughter said, give me that number right now. I'm going to ring them. And so Fiona rang them and said, I know exactly what you're doing. Have you taken money out of my mother's account? And pretty much said to them, I'm recording all of this and I'm going straight to the police. You're, what you're doing is fraud and blah, blah, yeah. blah. And the guy said to her, I am 100% telling you we haven't done anything to your mother's account. And unbeknown to, you know, the people that were trying to hack her, her mother had died like six months before and they had final finalisation of the settlement on that day. And she just had a massive amount of money put into her account. Shit. So they could have cleaned her up. So thank oh God. Oh, my God. It took about two hours to so they, all they, the so, and then, yeah, so and then Oh, yeah, and then my bloody husband. Oh, well, no one can see you, Lily. No one can see you, Lily. <laughs> Lily wants to take over the conversation, <laughs> as then, do our kids and yeah, grandkids. Lily. And then Dad rang them and pretended to be the person and landed him up and showed He pretended to be a um, so bastard. just tested bastard. if she learned her lesson. Yeah. He put on an accent and he said, like, you know, you uh, no, he said, hello, this is someone from Microsoft and put on an accent. I'd kill him. Went, I'd kill him. Unless I'd she learned a lesson. Oh. <laughs> but how no, I'm going to say to everybody, just don't, just don't do, just don't. My my Jessie said don't open anything. No, but I, I thought how silly because a lot of the times if you get an email or you get something, Emails if you're not shocking. sure about the person, you, just, you click on their name and it yes. comes up with their email uh, with address. funny email yeah. addresses yeah yeah but we we, we ne that's where we're going to have some lessons lynn parker with your um son-in-law who quinn who i haven't had down for a bit so they'll have to come and stay in your house soon love yes and by the way they're <laughs> here just popped up again. loretta's popped up again she's still on she's hot to trot on them hey loretta yeah. Yeah, bloody scammers. Oh, right. I tell you what, they're bloody scammers are everywhere. We found that out in the last week, haven't we? <laughs> but anyway, we will be fine and um, that's why Patreon's good. And um, I I was too scared to advertise Patreon because of a few people being quite awful about it. Not now. I'm going no, to have to, to yeah. Safe. So if, if anyone wants to promote this for me, go on the Love Your Guts page and say, look, we're on Patreon. It's a nice, it's a very closed in group. It's safer and it is safer. So um, after what's gone on, I think that might be the way to go, really. What do you reckon? Although I love those ladies from Canada and they can't really do Patreon. See, um, Brenda just got up, but it's the middle of the night. Or in Canada because of the time difference. Yeah, see, while I was on um, doing. Can they watch it replay though? They, they can, no they yeah. can. But I had um, Vi Whitler on from St. Louis, the other, when was I on? I can't remember, but it was 2 o'clock in the morning and she'd woken up and <laughs> she came on and had a yak. So there you go. See ya. See ya, David King, Liz Ball. <laughs> See you, Liz. <laughs> See you, Liz. 
And Liz <laughs> is coming to Apollo Bay in August. Now, everybody, Liz is coming down for a couple of nights and Lynn Parker's going to come down. We're going to, and I would say Heather Connolly will be here too. So we'll we'll have it. So it's anyone so thinking of coming. August, I'll be at work then, but the school, on the weekend I will be. Well, to be honest, everybody, um, it, I think, Liz, you're coming on the, I've just got to say, the 6th of August. So you know what, anyone, if you want to come down, you can't have my unit because Liz Ball's having it, but it's going to be the – oh, she's going to be this here Saturday. the 7th. So the, oh, she's going to be here 7th and 8th, but she could be here the 6th and 7th and see everybody. So if you feel like a bit of a weekend away, that might be a good time to come to Apollo Bay and we have a little bit of a – a get together and it's cheap. It'll be cheap to stay, but you can't stay at my place unless yeah. you're top and tail with Liz Balls. So there you go. Anyway, everyone. Oh no, we've only just started. I know. <laughs> we haven't been had on a few here, interruptions. We had those kids never shut up. I tell you, they take after their mother. Well, I don't know how they got a word in. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk. She talks a lot. <laughs> and so does Jane. Does she no, Lily's a good girl. She's cooking tea. Oh, did you know how to turn the oven on? Yeah, she's all over that. I, I think she's already got a gun. Oh, we have she lots of people staying in this unit that don't know how to turn that on. Can press this button and turn it around? Yep. We, yeah, and they don't know to do it. We used to actually have to yeah, come around and show them. Yes. Even I want to know how to do it. Well, it depends on which country you're from. Yes, I did have Americans once that had no idea how to do it. And it was, the, it was actually got everything the, under control. It was yeah. actually, can I tell you, it was the day before Mum died, and we were all at the hospital, and I got these nasty messages from this person. We can't fix you up, oh, and they start were really awful. We can't start the oven. Mum's dying, so Jesse and Casey came round, came in, switched it, walked out. <laughs> Yeah, they are oh, things like that happen, I suppose. Don't they you? mustn't have been nice ladies if Jesse didn't hang around. Well, <laughs> it was a bit. It was a bit. Of, oh, they were older. It was oh, a bit emotional yeah, for old. us at the time. Yeah, yeah. it old. always is. Then, isn't it? So Loretta's on commenting. She's done a couple of J's and two H's. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so it's nice to see Loretta on, and it's been twenty three degrees. Um, oh, Joanne likes my unit. It, it is, is lovely. It yeah, is lovely. Yeah, but. She couldn't stay here. How could, yeah, I had other people here, didn't I? So Joanne had to stay down the street. And I'd live here. I'd live yes. here. You know what? If I lived here, yeah, would have been a I wouldn't be I broke. <laughs> oh. I, I would live here tomorrow. I'd put a new kitchen in and I'd put in a new bathroom. Well, you could do that for your guests. You know? No, because <laughs> we don't have any <laughs> money because it. we still have a mortgage and... Um, but I would live here quite easily, and I said that to Bruce, and he goes, "Bloody not going to live there. I got me boat. I got me boat. <laughs> got nowhere to park the boat." Well, he won't have the boat for too much longer. He's seventy. He thinks he's fifty. He, he can thinks do what he likes. He only looks fifty. <laughs> he, he looks good for seventy. Yeah, he does. Look good he for does seventy. That's Mine because I've looked so after him. Man. Everyone He's been the luckiest man in the Polar <laughs> Bay. Just remember that one. Oh, he gets very excited when I say that. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you know how she said. Honey did that to her. Do you know all his, all our married life, that is the comment people have Poor made. Bruce. Poor Bruce. That is true. Oh, Heather. Did I think you know that. That's what everyone says about all our husbands, isn't it? Yeah, none of them are bloody but poor. Then if he didn't want to be here, he wouldn't be, would he? He's I know around. I'm coming in August to Sydney, darling. And uh, it won't be that weekend, that's all. But we've, I've been speaking to um, Janine Amory, who's from Abu Dhabi, and she's an English girl. Now, she is, I think she might even be on Patreon, but she actually is coming to Australia and she works for one of the royal families as a nanny. Oh. Now, I'm not sure whether she's coming Susan. with work or on her own. And yes, no, that's that yeah, no, that's Lou, and Sue's going to see you, Sue. And um, anyway, she has to wait, and then she's going to book. And we, I'm flying to Sydney because I want to meet her, and we're going to go out with her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll be really nice, and then that bloody Brenda will be here. That's going to be the highlight of our. So, Rono, who's that Sky Flame? That is Lou Green. 
God. Yes, she's a bit. We're supposed to have a funny name to go on. No, this but Patreon. yeah, but Lou, hey, Lou, I'll tell me, Bev. Lou, mm -hmm. tell Enjoy it. Enjoy risotto. I love risotto. What sort of risotto? Risotto, yeah, Bev. I'm backing up a name. Then he tells him anyway. <laughs> no, well, but Lou, Lou, Lou actually like this. She's a bit of a gamer. She knows all about computers, don't you, Lou? Right. So there you go. So why do we put no? Different name. Guess Claire. who's on? Bloody Claire, Claire. Cosgrove. Guess who? Guess how she met me? Through Claire. Claire. Through Claire, and we love her. We bloody love and Claire. Yeah, and look at this. I am late, but look at tonight's lineup. <laughs> I tell you what, we can't get a word in because the kids won't shut up. Well, they're all. I they're... have no kids in this room except for me, and I'm not talking. <laughs> oh, right, Lily. They're and all gaming. All the kids are gaming. Yeah, so they've all been excited to get here. Oh, I have an online gaming channel. What is it, Lou? My what kids games? Hey, or Lou, games? just uh, send us a thing, and the kids will get on here because they're all gay. Hey, just actually, Lou, my son's still a gamer, even though he. Did I tell you, Lou Green, about my son's job? One hundred three thousand people all over the world. Really awesome group. Well, you better send the link because I'll tell Jesse. Lou, you know my Jessie's in IT. Oh, you won't help me one little bit. Because you don't listen. 103. What's K? No, he hates yeah. me guts. He does not. Who hates your guts? No, Jess, when it Jessie comes to not. IT. He doesn't. Never, never too, too old, old to game. game. Oh, that's I gorgeous. do like a little game too yeah. on my phone. Jessie still does it. Yeah, he used to headbang as a kid. That. Meet. I was really good at Super Mario Brothers. Now, I love, can I tell you? I love Donkey Kong. I on got. I, oh, we, I, I loved my that Nintendo we had, and I got to the end <laughs> of Super Mario Brothers. I was so excited, and that's when we had the pub. So what did I do on my time off? I played games, <laughs> and then. I got to the end of Fred Flintstone. Oh my God, I loved it. I wish we still had those I games. I love that one in the. Back when I was young and we used to go to the beach and we used to sit on the little plastic tubs, like the chairs, or like the, you know, the um, hourglass chairs, yeah. they were just plastic tubs in the, you know, takeaway shop or whatever. You'd sit there on the little console things, cross from each other. Oh, yeah, beef eaters or something. Oh, Frogger. Oh, my God. And you get squashed by the cars? I'm no, yes, I don't know that. that. drives oh, me no, Oh, no, I, I remember Pac-Man. Remember Pac-Man? Yeah, Pac -Man. Same era. Yes. And, and before that we had... Driving games. Yeah. Oh no! I used to play no. that Frogger with my son. Oh, He'd... I love Frogger. <laughs> and you'd be going along, be going really good, and then bang! Yeah, oh, the squish. I, I couldn't Pac stop Pac-Man. Laughing. Yes. I yeah. laughed too much. We must be nearly the same age, are we, yes, Lee? Because that's about your era. And then, then I had Jesse, who used to make computers, right, when he was at school. So he had them all set up in his bedroom, and all the screens set up, and he had the headphones, and you go into his room and <laughs> nearly self combust because. <laughs> So hot. A stinky boy. And I used to think this house is going to burn yeah, down. He was using that much electricity. Oh, my God. And we'd be in bed and we'd hear him, but he'd have headphones on and be banging away, playing the bloody That's thing. Like my boys now, they put their headphones on and you wonder what the bloody hell they're in there doing in there, screaming and then talking to their mates on the games. Oh, I know it's really funny. Sky Children of the Light. Lily, have you heard of that? Look up Sky Children of the Light. I don't know how you do that. Just Google it, do you, Lou? Because I wouldn't have a clue. But honestly, I did used to like playing games. I was oh, very, yeah. I was good in the day. My fingers could do the walking. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh too much when I go out or someone else goes out. I'm naughty. Oh, yeah. I know, but I used to play on my own. It was a solitary thing like a lot of other things we used to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Did I say that? It just came out. Come out later. Just, mind, um, having a her, her, her mind, yeah, she's having a mental breakdown now. But anyway, that's another story, isn't it? <laughs> what was that? Oh, no, she's just talking rubbish. Oh, she Where are you, Claire? Claire, oh, where are you, one. Claire? Claire. Oh, here. Oh, no. She's still up oh, there. Oh, you haven't yeah. said anything. What are you cooking for tea? Did you see Claire's recipe for her vegetables? Oh, I've made them before. I tell made you. the wontons? Yes, but oh. you make them with coleslaw. And it was so easy. Oh, maybe Instead I of like chopping everything up, vegetable wontons, she's put it on um, oh, the cooking look. page. I could do that. She, you go and buy two bags or three bags. She makes 100. A fine cut coleslaw from the supermarket, and you use that as your veggie, and you fry it up with onion, garlic, and ginger. 
Right. Oh, she must have done a little bit uh, of a modification. A little, yeah, I and that's what you put in your wonton, but you don't have to chop anything up. And no, I thought, what a great idea. That yeah, was very so clever. Come out and I'll have to see the rest of the donut. Claire's got another one that I'm making, but it takes you ages. Joanne, you enjoy your six. ribs tomorrow night. Morning, and Lorraine, can I tell you, Lorraine Monroe, I bet you're having I bet you're having I Rose's you're chocolates for tea, darling, aren't you? Another box. I've only just bought them to the, the chocolate shop two today. Days ago. Well, Me, ones, I'm going yeah. to Melbourne, and Am yeah. wants well, bubble gum. In black. Remember we she wants to go to Target, and then we have to make oh, chocolate yeah, cupcakes and um, honey so joys, and give Mum a surprise birthday party. So I've got the next week. Oh, oh, have you, Heather? I'll see you next week. Who? You yeah. say pocket money in order at the same stage. Oh, you're going to sticky barbecue yeah, results with sweet potato. Yeah, Who's tomorrow. having that? Sue, sticky barbecue oh, results nice. with sweet potato. Oh, yum, and honey mustard sauce. Yeah. And oh, nice. No, I... Yeah, you're coming to your place, love. That sounds yummy. Claire, how's Harvey? Are you on here or not? Geez, no, she she comes up here. I tell you what, Harvey would nearly die. Oh. Her dog, yeah, I saw that. yeah it was thing. awful. That's like um, Robin Stewart's dog got bitten by a snake too, and they had yeah. no idea. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. What's oh. his name? Um, Trevor. No, no, that's another one. They're all. What's Robin's dog's name? Oh, I should know. Yeah, we all know. Robin. Robin's not on here. Ah. Uh, Oh, you go having trouble, Denise, with it going in and out. I don't know. Sometimes it can be connections as well, love. Oh, the internet's shocking down here. It might be. Oh, well, it I'm might on, be you dropping off. Well, me. actually, I've had trouble with the Wi-Fi here. We didn't have it for a oh, few days. Oh, it's disgusting. That's why Andrew had to go. We just got a message yesterday to say that um, the NBN was out in Apollo Bay, and um, somebody and else has told me today that Telstra rang them and said that they were fixing the NBN. That's why there was a problem. No, 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 it went out. And um, actually I got an EPOS at home and it was running on Telstra. It stopped working and they had to bring around a chip from Optus. So Telstra had not been any good. Oh, you had pea and ham soup. Oh, yum, Lorraine, I love pea and ham soup. She had, I'm glad you didn't have just chocolates, love. <laughs> oh, Claire's internet's no good at the moment either. And Claire, yeah, somebody's got a passport oh. ready to go with you. So. Oh, hey. Di McFee, the dog's name is Freddie. Freddie, that's it. Oh, Freddie. Red, oh, Sue's got her passport forms really ready to fill out to go to Bali one. next year. Wow. So there you go. Oh, oh Freddie, that's right, Di. My passport runs out in. Beautiful dog, actually, love. I reckon it's yeah. May next year. Mine I need to get out. mine done. I do too. Mine runs out in July. Oh, so yeah, I'll get I'll one done about. Apparently, now. there's a 12 oh, month wait for those. No, we're only getting ours renewed. So um, oh. we'll. But when they expire, how long have you got? You to need. Renew? You've got three. Oh uh, yeah, no, yeah, no. Know. You have twelve months actually, because oh, it's happened to yeah. us. But um, mine's no, mine due in July. Year. So if anyone's coming to yesterday. Bali in May, oh, you just have to and yours, yeah. your passport you expires in any time yeah, between maybe um, probably December, please go get another one. Oh, Dominique's sending me a message. I didn't call you dub, but you're gorgeous. I can't talk later because I get too tired. So I don't take calls at night. Um, see you, Marie Shaw. Mile high club, love. I put a gorgeous <laughs> picture of Mile a selfie. High club. She's a I really think girl. you're going to have to call that something else. There's the name <laughs> of the Especially if you're going to get T-shirts and walk around Bali with it on. <laughs> no, 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 we're all bloody married women and we're all going to wear it. All right, ladies, i got to go. I've got my dog in the car. She's got a dog in all the right. car. <laughs> Look, oh, look, Marie oh, found a lipstick. Fine. You know, Marie, I, Marie's a beautiful singer. Are you going to choir tonight, love? Yeah. yeah. She she sang to me when I met her in the Gold Coast. Oh, and right. don't forget I'm coming back. Anyway, yeah. everyone, I All reckon right. it's time go. we went. So, oh, Denise is oh, cooking yum. red chicken curry with pumpkin sweet potato. Yum, that sounds good. Us berries oh, are the best, best cook. <laughs> and I she's going to have a right? drink, and I don't oh, think I can drink all this. When are you going home? Tomorrow, probably. Oh, oh tomorrow it's on Wednesday. 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 I, I see. I did the lawn stuff. What are you having for yep. tea tonight? Hey? I'm coming back. Anyway, everyone, um, well, I've got to go because, and I'll be on tomorrow night from Pam's place in Geelong. Friday. And I'll, I, um, 
So whether the internet works now there or not, and then I'll do a well, couple of nights in Melbourne. Now I haven't done stuff. I'm just going to yeah, put old coffee. posts on, but yeah, um, I've had a pretty big it. week and it's been yeah. very stressful, oh, as a lot of you know. Um, so don't forget, no talking. We'll get on with it. We'll be right. Mm. Love your guts. Bye. Oh, see ya. We did talk numbers.